Johnny Murray here and welcome to a brand new video. Today we're going to be taking a look at all the big games and just all the major releases within August of 2024. Uh, we are officially in the month of August. It is currently the uh, August 2nd at the time of recording this. And yeah, there are uh, quite a, a few games that I would like to pay attention to and just talk about and let you guys know are coming out this year or this month in case you either A, forgot or B, didn't know about or C, just wanted that reaffirmation like, yeah, I'm definitely excited for this, and I cannot wait to play it. Um, and so, yeah, we're going to take a look. There are five games, I do believe, that I have on this list. There are plenty of other smaller games as well. Plus, there's going to be Game Pass releases, stuff like that, to also keep you a bit busy throughout the month. But in terms of brand new big releases, there are five we need to talk about. And so, if you love video games, Xbox, PlayStation, Nintendo, third party, indie, whatever. If you love video games consider subscribing consider sharing with, with your friends i appreciate any support you guys do give me especially on the one on this video but let's get started talking about upcoming games coming out in august of 2024 now i know this won't be for everybody and i'm not expecting it to be but this is a big release in august and i personally am a huge nfl fan it is like my favorite sport to watch uh and that is madden nfl 25 now I, I will say I do plan on getting this game and I am very very happy that Christian McCaffrey is the uh, cover athlete for this year's Madden and he is like one of my favorite players if not my fa favorite player and um, yeah I'm just very excited I've seen some of the trailers and some of the features they're adding they are having more immersive drafts they're uh, having some franchise updates obviously some game gameplay updates but I do think uh, a lot of things that they're doing in this in this entry is pr pretty exciting if you're a big fan of the series like I am and play a lot of the franchise's modes and just have fun building teams and creating rosters and drafting and just honestly playing the game of football. I think this game does look pr pretty, pretty good. And uh, yeah, I am excited for Madden 25 to release uh, this August. But... Nothing will compare to the excitement that I have for Black Myth Wukong. Black Myth Wukong just looks like it's going to be phenomenal. It just looks like it's going to be a stellar experience, one that I'll never be able to forget. I originally was not very excited for this game. I thought it looked interesting. I thought it, it, it looked good. But it was... I originally thought this game was going to be a Souls game. And it kind of turned me off from it because... While I, I like Souls games, Sekiro being my fa favorite, the hardest one, There's those types of games are ones I really find hard to get excited for because I know the, the commitment. I, it's not one I'm like counting down the days till, but I know when I play it, I'll absolutely love it. Well, it turns out it's not even a Souls game. It has Souls elements, but it's more of a hack and slash. It's more of just an action RPG uh, with kind of without less of the R R RPG mechanics. And when I found that out, they even said it's more like Jedi Fallen Order, and I absolutely love Jedi Fallen Order and Jedi Survivor, so I am absolutely all for this game. I am absolutely here for it, and when going back and watching these trailers, knowing that it's not a Souls game, this game just looks absolutely phenomenal. The bosses, the characters, the world, the combat, but most importantly for me, Loki, is the music that music just hits so different when watching these these trailers i am super duper excited to jump into this world and experience black myth wukong because it has been one heck of a wait for black myth wukong and it's finally here releasing late in august but nonetheless this month now whether you're excited for this release or not i know i'm personally not really this is going to be a release that is talked about and a lot of pe people are curious how it is going to perform and what the results of this release will look like. And that is Concord on PS5. This is that Guardians of the Galaxy uh, PV PvP hero shooter game that uh, is a first party PlayStation game. And, uh, you know, a lot of betas have happened for it and reviews are definitely mixed. There are some that really think it's good and then there are some that think it's really bad. But the at, at the end of the day, it doesn't look like it's having at that much success. I think it peaked at like 2,000 players on during its open beta, meaning anybody could play it, and only it peaked at 2,000 players, which isn't really that great considering Marvel Rivals peaked at 50,000. Um, and yeah, 
whether you're excited for this or not, it is going to be interesting to see how this game uh, turns out. And, you know, I do think there are some positives about this game. I think the characters are really cool. I think some of the combat is really, really fun. I do think it's missing a lot uh, in terms of, like, what a PvP shooter should should have and include. Uh, but for, for the most part, this is going to be a big, big release. And I wanted to highlight it coming out this month because it is. So, Concord releasing this month. Let me know in the comments, what is your excitement level for this game? Uh, do you think it'll be good? Do you think it'll be bad? Are you going to play it? Are you going to buy it? Or are you going to wait? Let me know. I'd be curious to hear. Now, this next one's interesting for me. Because if you guys have been paying attention to the channel for a long time, ever since the Game, game Awards last year, you know this has been one of my most anticipated games, period. Visions of Mana. It is, a, it is the next entry in the long... Um, in the long-running, highly crit critically acclaimed JRPG franchise, the Mana series. Um, and yeah, Visions of Mana, when I first saw this trailer, it kind of just clicked with me. It, I loved the art style, I loved some of the characters, I loved the combat that it was presenting, I loved the world, I loved the colors, the music, everything was kind of just hitting on the right note for me. And I've been really excited for it ever, ever since. This is one of the games where every time I saw it, every time I heard about it, every time I talked about it, it just kept on rising on my most anticipated list higher and higher and higher to the point where this was, at one point, in my top three most anticipated games at, at the moment. Um, and, well, this is weird because they did release a demo for the game. And I played it, and personally, I was not really the biggest fan of it. I really found it very hard to get engaged with it, and I did not personally find uh, the combat or the, the the RPG mechanics or just everything going on very engaging. Now, granted, I was really, really tired that, that day I tried it, and, you know, JRPGs are complex as all ever. So I do plan on trying that demo one more time just to make sure... I feel the way I, I should about, about about this game because I do think it looks really really interesting and I do think this will be a good good game and uh, I don't want to miss out on it uh, due to me just having a bad take low key uh, but nonetheless this game is going to release this month it is going to be a pretty big release for a lot of people I'm very curious to see how it does uh, and you know that's the thing is sometimes games aren't for everybody a game could score in the 90s and I'm just not a big fan of it it's as simple as that remember guys games are meant for your enjoyment they're up for your personal take on it if something is loved you don't have to love it if something is hated you don't have to hate it you could love it it's up to you go in with an open mind experience it for yourself and make your ju judgment off of that but for me I'm, i definitely think it looks good it looks interesting um i'll just have to see where i end up landing on it no matter what i am going to get get this game the question is will i get it day one or will i wait for a sale that'll be the big question i'll have to play the demo one more time to really see how i feel about visions of mana releasing august i think 29th or 30th one the two but without a doubt the biggest game releasing this august is none other than one of the biggest franchises in the world star wars with the ubisoft open world star wars outlaws this game is going to be huge, and man, am I so, so excited for this. Now, you guys already know, Star Wars is my favorite franchise of all time. Just not even in gaming, just in the world. Star Wars is everything. Um, I love Star Wars. I love the world. love the characters. I just love the stories being told. And I do think Star Wars Outlaws looks very, very promising. Now, there has been a lot of controversy for this game. Number one, just because it's Ubisoft. No, number two, because some pe people don't think it looks all that good. I think this game look looks great. Everything I've seen personally has been speaking to me i think a lot of things they're having in this game seem really really fun and seem like a good idea the question is how will they execute it because ubisoft is definitely questionable in that regard but when i look at the main character when i look at the combat when i look at the worlds and what this game is trying to do it just screams like it's going to be a really really fun star wars experience to me uh having that open world capabilities having a lot of the uh, shooting and the abilities you're gonna have with your your pet Nyx and stuff like that it is very interesting this is not a Star Wars game where you're you're a Jedi or a Sith and you're gonna have a lightsaber with force abilities you are a scoundrel you are somebody who scavenges planets who who takes orders from other pe people who completes tasks in all these different planets it looks fun there's speeding 
there is or speeding <laughs> there are going on speeders there are flying spaceships in outer space landing on planets seamlessly there is jumping into high hyperspace there are chases there th this is basically being explained as the star wars uncharted uncharted is my favorite franchise of all time if this is really true i do think i'm going to love this game regardless of what other people think and this just goes back to what i said about visions of mana go into every game with, with an open mind experience it for for yourself don't let the complaining and the controversies outside of the actual product get to you experience it for yourself experience what hundreds of developers spent years of their life making the way it was intended to be experienced by playing the actual game so thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed, definitely leave a like, leave a comment in this section I'll be provided. Let me know what is your most anticipated game of August. I'd really love to know. I'll see you next one. Jimer out. Peace.